Hey guys, so welcome back. It's been a while, I know, and I'm very sorry. Um, today's video, we're gonna be creating this look. We're gonna be touching base on the Glam Light Street Taco palette. So if you wanna see that and some other Glam Light goodies, keep watching. Okay, welcome. So it's been quite a while. I haven't really posted anything to YouTube. Nine months. Um, since my last video, I haven't really found, like, I haven't found myself being very inspired or very motivated to film. Like, I'll, I've done stuff on Instagram, like, I'll post pretty regularly there, um, but as far as, like, in-depth videos, I just haven't, I haven't been there. I haven't been there in the mental capacity that I should, um, and that's okay. This year has been really rough, it's been really rough. Yeah, all night is just kind of focusing on the bigger things in life, and I've been just trying to do the best that I can. So, <laughs> anyway, um, so today's video, as you can see, I'm pretty still burnt. My forehead is wicked dry, so it's not really cute. I pretty much match my background here. But I went ahead and ordered some products from Glam Light. I'm wicked excited about. So I picked up a few things and I've already opened it, but it comes in this bright neon box. So let's just let's just go. I picked up the margarita lashes. This is in the style strawberry. So I thought those were really cute. They look like they had some pretty volume. So I figured let's do it. The theme of it was so cute, and I just think it'd be fun. Next, we have some lip gloss. We have the tequila lip gloss. Like, tell me how fun that is, right? So the packaging's super cute. Looks straight up like a shot of tequila. But then you open it. This is what it looks like. It is a clear gloss, but it has some like gold flakes in there, which I don't even know if you'll be able to pick up, but they're there. Let's see. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. I haven't tried it yet does not smell like tequila, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Lastly, save the best for last in my opinion, we picked up a street taco palette. I had to have it, it was the cutest thing. I went with the whole theme for it. So it's literally shaped like a taco. Okay, wicked cute. It even has a warning to not eat. <laughs> So I already took the plastic off of it, but this is what she looks like. So really fun colors, that that neon green and that purple whatever, I thought was really pretty. So I figured we could swatch it, maybe try a look with it and the whole thing and kind of see what we can do to cover up this chaos of a mess I created. I created, so I am fully responsible. But. Whatever, so let's get into swatching. All right, so we'll kind of go just down the line, I guess. We have, um, I didn't even look, Pico de Gallo. So it's like a pretty orange kind of shimmer shade. It's very orange. Camera doesn't look that orange, but it's very orange. Oh, that's really pretty. So I, don't, I picked up four, so you can't see that. So I'm just going to swatch them all, show you all so you can see that swatched out, and then we'll kind of create a look. I think that's the best way to go about it. All right, so excuse the mess, but this is it pretty much swatched out. I kind of want to be able to see in a better light. Um, so I swatched them all out. The mattes were a little, like a little slight on swatching, but that really doesn't mean much to me. The shimmers, as you can see, they definitely pack a punch um, and they're really pretty. So the neon, like look at that green. It's pretty, pretty good. So, and the, that brown one, which is carne asada, it's beautiful. Um, so I think this will work out really pretty, so. Sorry, there was no way of me really showing you. Unless it's kind of like I went like this maybe. But even then, couldn't really see it. <clears throat> Those are the shades. I figure we could try I can't really swatch, I mean I could swatch lip gloss, but it's clear, so. Let's just get started and we'll create a look. So I went ahead and threw on some concealer. I'm just really fond of the CoverGirl 
This is the True Blend Undercover Concealer in shade L600 in light nude, which right now for my under eye may be a little too light. I'm starting, most of my sunburn is starting to turn into a bit of a tan. So a lot of my foundations are a bit lighter because I was very pale, very pale. But as you can see, my eyes are like, Pfft. don't know what I wanna do. Let's go into Poyo. We'll make that our transition shade. So Poyo is that um, kind of light brown shade. That was the one that had a little difficulty swatching, but I feel like that's not going to be the case for blending out and such. So I'm going to just grab a, I don't even know. I think this is an Al an um cosmetics brush. Everything's wiped off, so I'm sorry, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of pack that into the crease and just kind of blend it out. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with it because I really want it to be pretty much green. Like I'm feeling a green vibe, but I wanna make this kind of smooth. I'm just gonna do the same to the other eye. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M429. It's a very like odd shape. It like, stifles out, but it's like thin and very lightweight. I don't know, but I, I dig it. So I think, I think, I don't know, in my head I'm kind of visioning if I add in a little Garnet Asada, make it brighter, and then kind of do Pico de Gallo and Guacamole, like, I guess we'll just try it. So let's go into Garnet Asada, which is this shade right here. So it's interesting because the Guacamole shade is more Looking at it, it has more of a green tint. And then when I swatched it, it almost had like, it's kind of yellow, but I don't know. We'll have to try and see. So I'm just kind of go lightly over what I just did to kind of deepen that and blend. All the shade packs a freaking punch. Mm -hmm. It's okay, I'm just gonna blend it out. So like for this top, top portion here, I just kind of like to go in circular motions around until I can blend it out and then I'll do more like a windshield wiper motion. Oh God. <sighs> so up until here where there's less product on the brush, I can kind of just easily blend that out. See, and then just kind of repeat it if you will. I find it the best for me. It may not be ideal for everyone, I don't know. I just kind of blend until it's blended out. I feel like there's no real right way even though people will tell you to do it this or that way but i feel like there are no rules it just kind of are strategic motions that work for you but that's just my opinion so i'm just gonna do that to the other eye and we'll be back okay so in person to me that shade is kind of like it's like a dark brown mixed with a hint of maroon in the pan it looks kind of just brown but I think it's really pretty, but I definitely think there's like a hint of maroon showing up in there. <laughs> because of that maroon, I don't think green is gonna work. It could, I just don't know if I'll feel it. So I think I'm gonna go with carnitas. I'm gonna take a lavish eye shading brush, it's this one. Um, sometimes for shimmer shades, it's way easier to use your finger. I kind of like to see first with the brush and then kind of play it out. when I use my finger. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow, that's actually really pretty. So it's kind of, this shade's kind of like almost like a duochrome. It's like a gold, but with brown and it like intertwines when you move. So it's, it's pretty nifty. Nifty, who the am I? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. All right, I'm gonna throw this on the other eye and then probably just um, touch it up with a brush. All right, so I think this combo turned out really pretty. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of the Garnet Asada just to kind of blend out the edges out a little bit. But like this like duochrome shade is really something. And I'm gonna go over where the shimmer is just to kind of help it pop and blend it out. But I think overall it's pretty pretty. So I'm just gonna probably touch up the edges. For the most part it really is, because I did it before with the concealer. Overall, I mean, the, the matte shades were very blendable. I really like that, and the shimmer is, this one's really pretty. 
they're all really pretty but the fact that it's kind of like a duochrome vibe i'm here for it so i'm gonna throw on foundation and stuff so i'll be right back all right so i pretty much just did the base a bronzer that i've been really liking um it's from milani it's the sun kissed silky matte bronzing powder so i don't know i've just been obsessed love how it's packaged for starters and look at it's just it's just beautiful okay it smells very fun and like it's i don't know it almost smells like being at the beach and it's just so silky and matte and so beautiful so i wanted to share um it applies really nicely blends out really nicely into the skin if you're looking for a new bronzer i highly recommend the one from milani and I ordered it straight from the website, but they're pretty much available like at drugstores like CVS. Are they in Ulta? I don't know. I haven't been in, uh, into an Ulta in so long. I, I generally cannot remember. It might be, or at least on their website, I don't know. So, yep, just wanted to share that. I'm throw on silver mascara. Um, so Ramel and Influencer sent the silver, but I've been really liking it. It's the Ramel, uh, Rimmel Scandal Eyes. Like the wand is huge. It's just like, bam, lashes. And I think it's like seven or eight bucks. So it's really affordable. I mean, it's not the cheapest, but it's still like decent for a mascara. And depending on where it might be even less. I think it was like eight dollars at CVS, but CVS, I feel like, runs a little bit higher price-wise, but so maybe if you go like to Target or Walmart, it might be a little cheaper. It's just, it does a really nice job. Like, you wouldn't even have to throw on lashes if you didn't want to. I'm going to. And there was once upon a time, I wouldn't put on lashes with like full-on glam looks like, like this. I just throw on mascara, call it a day, and I just want to know who that was. Like who let me out of the house like that who said that was okay it is okay but as a preference of mine just want to know just want to chat but ironically people who still do that like they can pull it off but i'm like how like it looks good on them but i'm like i just look incomplete you know what i mean i don't know maybe it's just in my head doing that and what's nice too about this mascara it really helps it does like separate your lashes but not like in a weird way like it separates, but also gives that length. So I'm gonna let these dry for a second and then we're gonna pop on the Margarita Lashes. Hello? The Margarita Lashes in the style Strawberry. So like, how cute is that? I just thought it was so cute. I'm here. Okay, so I'm feeling a little bit more complete. Those are the Margarita Lashes. They're wicked lightweight, kind of pretty easy to apply. So I wanna go ahead, I'm not gonna put any like, I don't know, I just don't like putting my gloss and do it on top of a color because then it gets into this so i don't want to put anything on but i'm going to just go ahead and put the lip gloss on oh that's so like creamy but like weight and super shiny i'm sure it would make any like color that you put on underneath pop Sometimes it's just like a gloss on its own. I put a little bit on, which is saying a lot for me, just because it's so hot out and I'm probably already gonna like oily as it is. So just like a, too much. And my nose, it's already like cracking on there because it's so dry and I'm like being burnt. But overall, I really liked how it came out. I think the colors were really pretty. You can be very fun and neutral at the same time. You have options. The pigments are stunning. The mattes were easy to blend. Recommend. It's also fun. She has so many different other um, themes. Like she has like, what is it, donut, like sweets, um, burgers, she's known for a pizza palette. Um, so there's just so much, you know, she was fun, creative, she's making it She's doing great things, so. Shout out to Giselle from Glenlight. You're amazing. This is it, this is the full look. Something fun, but also kind of nothing crazy. Pop on a gloss. I really love the tequila gloss. Again, does not smell like tequila, you don't have to worry about that. Um, it's really pretty, so. Yeah, go check them out. Um, 
I feel like I'm usually seeing sales sometimes randomly, so go check them out. They're not crazy expensive, which is nice, and you have some options, so. If you like this video or want to see more looks with the Street Taco palette, let me know. Comment down below. And if you tried this brand, what have you tried? Tell me what to get. Let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.